We made it to Texas. We just got to the apartment today. It is January 3rd. We started the road trip on Monday from Madison, Wisconsin. We got like four hours in, then yesterday we did like 10-ish hours, and then today we did the last four. Got here around 1 p.m., unloaded the U-Haul, and it's time to unpack. <laughs> the place is definitely not gonna be fully together for like a few weeks, maybe even a month. Who knows? It takes forever to figure out your decor, order your bed, for, you know, whatever. So let's see what we have right now to work with. We got boxes on boxes, and we just got stuff. <laughs> stuff on stuff. <laughs> Hi, Dunks. My closet is through the bathroom, and I think that's where I wanna start. I actually left all of my hanging clothes on their hangers, so it'll be pretty easy to unpack, which is amazing. There's way more space in this closet than I thought thought there was gonna be. Like we really have so much room. Of course I get the bottom rod and he gets the top. And this actually really turned out to be a great amount of space for all my hanging clothes. I have no idea how I want to do makeup, skincare, all that stuff. Like we have a ton of under storage and we have these but there's no shelving here. And so obviously like towels and stuff will definitely go in one of these but I don't know what would go in here and if I do like makeup and stuff like I need some sort of organizer for this. I can definitely do like cleaning products and stuff in one but I don't know. I think I'll try to make this, because this can be mine. I, oh, I'm so happy it's a double sink. Like, I swear, boys are so messy, but especially for their sinks, like, why can't, they can't keep it together. So I'm very happy I have my own sink. I'll do, like, my own under storage, but I'm gonna need to buy some stuff. I think we're probably gonna do a Target run tonight and just get a bunch of who even knows what. I am overwhelmed. Like, looking at the kitchen, I don't have, like, in my head right away, I'm not like, okay, this should go here, this should go here. I'm just like, should I put pans here? Or do the pans go there? I'm like, I feel like there's, like, I don't know. And we don't have like a million, like we don't have a, a ton, a ton of space, but we have good cabinets, you know, but I just like don't know where to start because I'm gonna put something in one spot and then we like, no, it's gonna go here instead. So I don't know, I'm thinking maybe we start and we put plates here. We have plates. We don't really own many cups. <laughs> we have to buy stuff, but like, maybe we just take a box, we open it, we put it somewhere, we move it. If we don't, you know, cause it's like, you're not gonna actually know where you want something to be for a while. You're not gonna know right away. In this box, we have a cup. I also need to figure out like, okay, where do I want the Nespresso machine? That's the most important part, let's be real. Also the air fryer, you know, like all of that. I don't even know what I wanna put in here. Like I have these nice little containers, but like, I don't even know, I don't even know what goes in there. Which one silverware and which one big utensils? I really did not get much done yesterday, but it's been a long week, okay? <laughs> we were on the road for three days, so I'm like, you know what, it's okay. I slept in, we returned the U-Haul this morning. We're actually gonna run just to Walmart and pick up a few things. Slowly throwing stuff in the cart. Coming in here, I thought I had a plan, and now I'm like, what are we even getting? Every time we add an item to the cart, I just keep getting more and more stressed about how much money we're spending. But like, I know this is what I signed up for. We spent like 200 bucks, which honestly, at first you're always like, okay, how did we spend that much? But then it's like, you know, laundry detergent is like 20 bucks. Dog food, you know, it's just like stuff adds up so fast. Living is so expensive. We finally have milk, so I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee. I did this in the wrong order. I feel like I'm so discombobulated right now. I'm making a protein coffee. I, this is literally impossible to set you up right now. Number one, my body needs it. Number two, I don't have anything else to flavor the coffee with right now. Now, the next thing is, where's my frother? I, uh, oh boy. We got a frother. Okay, we're getting there. I seriously love how the peppermint bark makes it pink. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Oh my god, I literally forgot to fill the water tank. What has happened? I'm such a mess right now. All right, <laughs> we got coffee. That's 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 what matters. We got coffee. It's good. Okay, okay. Honestly, I need to clear clear garbage. I don't even. What should we do next? We got a shoe rack from Walmart and we're gonna throw it in with like a coat closet. We'll get some shoes out of the way because I'm procrastinating in the kitchen. I said it. We have this little area, super nice little cubby thing. I think the bottom drawer I want to put Duncan's stuff in, but like what goes here? Cause there's no place to hang stuff. It's literally just a random like little locker area. We could put either decor or maybe games or something up there, but what goes here? Progress is for sure being made. 
We're doing great, we're doing great. We got a lot of boxes down. A lot to go, but you know, that's fine. I packed two boxes in here. They're very fragile. I'm really hoping they didn't break or I will be very, very upset. Oh, for sure, this is beautiful. This, is, is this not the cutest? Flower base you ever did see. Perfect. Yes. Amazing. Dang, this is a huge rug. My sister was getting rid of this rug, which is amazing because I stole it. And these giant rugs can be so expensive. So I'm happy that I have one here. We don't have a couch yet, but that's fine. It's just a neutral one. However, I don't know what's the best way for this huge thing to be put in here. We need to get a step stool ASAP because I can't reach anything, which I'm not surprised. So up here is like my protein powder and stuff. I keep changing the cabinets around. For example, first I put mugs here and then I switch the mugs out and then I put spices. But now I'm like, wait, there's a cabinet way over here. I also don't know where this is gonna go. I wanted to get like a nice wooden cutting board. I'm done with the plastic ones. I feel like it's just nice to get a good, I don't know, wooden one. And it's cute for serving too. But like, this just doesn't seem like it fits anywhere. <laughs> Isn't this so scary? This literally can hit the light. This literally doesn't even fit. I have no thoughts. Not a thought is had. We also got this one for Christmas. <laughs> Maybe I'll like temporarily claim this as my health cabinet. I have my other protein powders above, but like, you know, I could do my greens and stuff in here. Collagen in here, you know, like all the like morning routine stuff that could go in there. The kitchen is looking pretty good. I have so much crap to unpack. Closet stuff, beauty stuff, skincare, like just random stuff. And I don't even know where it's all gonna go. I do like to hang some pants though. Any jeans or trousers, leather pants. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and hang those up right away. I think we'll use the second closet for more like seasonal stuff. We do have a lot more closet space than I thought we would. I like having these ottoman things. I have this one and a square one, and I own a lot of hats. So I think hats are gonna go in here. I was just so spoiled with my last closet that I'm like running out of where to put things. Like I need more drawers. I have so much hung, which is amazing. We really do have a lot of hanger space, but I'm just like, I'm needing more drawers. <laughs> This is our setup for the couch right now. So I've been sitting on a dog bed at the coffee table, like drinking my coffee and on my computer. It is January 5th, so we slept here two nights. Yes. I'm waiting for the Wi-Fi person to get here and set it up. The window was 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and it's 9 a.m. Dying to get Wi-Fi just because I want to get stuff done. Not even because I'm like, oh, I want to scroll on my phone without using my data. No, like I just want to sit on my emails all day. I'm like feeling so behind on things, but it's been good. The place is really coming together. I finally, this morning, did my whole little routine with like supplements, my greens powder, and then I made a protein coffee. I ordered two like tiered rotating cosmetic organizers. One hopefully more for me. <laughs> that looks so funny and one for skincare. There are some bins and stuff I want to get from Target still But now that things are put away I have a more clear idea of what I want to get or like I need more command hooks But like I just didn't know this information a few days ago, you know when things are put away Then you have a clear idea and you're like, okay, this could go here Like I need to get this for this We still haven't ordered a couch or a bed frame though and those are gonna take a while to get here So we're gonna be sleeping on the floor for a while and I'm already kind of sick of it He's actually been doing pretty good. I think he's been doing fairly good in the elevator I feel like everyone I talk to here so far either they know a lot about dogs or like I don't know the, the vibe around you and your pet is just different And that's part of the reason I wanted to move here people have been so friendly so far too Which is really nice. I didn't know like how people would keep to themselves or if they would talk to you Like you just never really know especially this day and age social interaction is like I feel like at an all-time low you know like people don't go out of their way to make conversation usually but it's been good he also laid in my suitcase for like hours yesterday so I'm like does this mean he wants to go home because I I like this place I think it's super cool we are back at the Walmart another Walmart and Target run today and it won't be the last I had these at home and didn't bring them because I purposely just didn't want to use them but I literally don't have storage so I need this for like socks underwear and bras you know we're still spending a lot of money today but I'm in a much better shopping mood I don't know I'm just feeling more relieved <laughs> Good work. Great job. 
<laughs> we got a few things we needed, like surface cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, Windex, a dish scrubby. You know, we just needed random things. Baking sheets. We also needed hand towels for the bathroom. I thought a nice fresh earthy green would be fun. I have white hand towels, but we have two bathrooms, so... We'll put the white ones in the guest room, and then I think this green could be fun for my bathroom. I'm also trying to get things to match at least like a little bit. I really wanted to get some sort of fruit bowl leave out on the counter. I did that at the last house, and I got this nice black one. I looked at a lot of different wood ones that were really pretty. However, I have... The black Nespresso sits out and like, I don't know, I just felt like black was cool. It comes with a little stand. Isn't this cute? It'll, I mean, obviously I'll show you the countertop when it's all finished, but I think it'll be really cool. I got a bunch of clear pumps. I literally forgot to do hand soap, but I'll have to get that eventually. And then salt and pepper. I have the cutest little salt and pepper shakers. I actually got this in a Fab Fun box. So on this little swivelly thing, I always have salt and pepper and then olive oil. And I want to paint this black so that it matches other things. I also just think it would really go well with the white and then this nice gray and this, I don't know. I think black would look nice. Of course, we got a Brita filter. I just washed it so it's ready to use. I also just got my first packages here. The locker system is super, super nice. So it's like super secure. Don't have to worry about any thieves or anything like that. This must be the bottom. I'll link all the organization things if you are curious. <laughs> you can't really see it because it's clear acrylic and you can put all the little shelves wherever you want Making progress. We'll do skincare in the front makeup in the back next I want to fill this thing like I said just like socks underwears bras I need drawers for that stuff, you know I feel like this is the easiest way to do it and kind of tuck it in my closet and mostly done. <laughs> I'm just deciding to put hooks here for keys, Duncan's leash, stuff like that. And to be honest, I didn't really care to get fancy hooks, so I just got black command hooks. I thought black would be nice. Okay. Okay, yep. Excuse me. <laughs> No super crazy updates. We've just been slowly like cleaning stuff up, putting things away. However, we did order a couch, a bed frame, and stools. We still need to get like a TV console and stuff like that. But what I'm opening here right now, I'm excited about a step stool. I need one so bad to reach things, you know? And this one's like cute and foldable. They have these at Target, but I got a 13 inch one and they only had smaller ones in store. So I ended up ordering it from Amazon actually. Oh, I need a, a new a new protein powder. Oh, huh. There it is. This is what it is. And so easy. So I don't know why this looks like this. It's not wet at all, but like part of it looks like it dried different. Maybe it's just the way that I left it outside. I don't know, but there will be stuff on it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. This I obviously need to fill, and I have my salt and pepper filled. I think that's adorable, and we have the Nest Quick powder. <laughs> It's Tuesday, and the couch wasn't supposed to get delivered initially till Friday, then it's a Thursday, and I just got a notification that it's here, which is insane because I've been eating this couch, so I really hope it pays off. We just ordered a fairly cheap one from Amazon, so like, it could be very hit or miss, but we know that, right? Like, we made the choice to go for it and see what happens. Who knows if we're gonna move it to the next place? Who knows when we're gonna move out of here? Like, we just don't know, right? Let's do this! I don't know if I can express how excited I am to finally have a couch! More furniture coming this week and next week. Since things have been a mess for what feels like so long, I feel like my brain is also messy. Bite his hands, but we all grow old. Can't have my soul, let my heart turn stone. Guess I gotta say it twice, it ain't my fault. Every little thing got a price, that's what I thought. That's what they taught. It's not bad, you know, it's pretty little, it was easy to set up, get what you pay for. It was only $315, but I would have loved a lighter couch, but with his fur, I just decided dark gray would be the best. And then we already had this chair. We purposely wanted to bring this and put it in the living room, so, I mean, they're different grays, it's fine, whatever. But so, we have at least a good amount of seating. We also want to cut this rug so that it doesn't interfere with the balcony door because it will not slide over it. So we're gonna have to figure that out. That looks like it ties things in a little bit better. I also think the TV stand will help pull things together. I also got my first Nespresso order, which is very exciting. So now, we're really at home. Yeah, I'ma take my chance to lie, drop, mm -hmm. You know this ain't the time for the two of us. I ordered some new soap dispensers for the bathroom. They just matched the tray I have a lot more, and they're really pretty. I got two because I want to do one soap and one lotion. How pretty 
though. I know this is still a mess, but see this silver just matches this tray a lot better than, I just had like plastic ones with white tops, but these match better than the other ones. Just got in a Target order. You know how we have this like area? I wanted to put something on this drawer. So in this drawer is Duncan's toys and stuff and he like paws at it, like he knows they're in there. So we leave it open a little bit and he goes and gets them out. But I wanted to sit something on there that had a lid for just like his collars, poop bags, like little things like that. So I got this tiny little bin. It was literally $6 online. So that'll be perfect. I ain't got space to be thinking about. From Target, I have three of these size bins. I want to do one hair and like body care and stuff both in the bathroom and the third one will be just t-shirts we'll see how many t-shirts i can fit hair and body stuff i literally have laying in a pile on the floor and it's like the last major thing i need to put away but i was waiting for storage you know, dad, we are officially cutting this rug so that it's not in front of the door. Yes, Duncan's lick mad mess. It's fine. But so I measured this line and we have this. But we also have scissors. So whatever works better. And then obviously we put cardboard underneath so we don't hit the floor. But we'll cut along this line. And then since this will look kind of messy, we'll flip it so that this goes towards the back. So you can't see it. It'll be perfect. I might come running back when our hearts get back on track. When the stars line up, that's that. I've been attached just much better. Again, with the early Amazon delivery, we weren't supposed to get more furniture for a few days yet, and some things arrived. We got stools for under our countertop, which I'm very excited about. They look nice. I want to check the size before I take the foam off. Perfect. Moving into like my actual own place for the first time essentially ever because I don't really count college because you're with so many roommates and stuff. Obviously, we've had to buy so many things, so I'm really trying to be budget friendly, right? I'm not made of money, so these stools were very simple and plain, and there was four for like 50 bucks, so it was a pretty good deal, and they match. I also got a desk chair, which I think desk chairs are so stupidly expensive, but whatever. I needed one. I've been using this cube, which honestly isn't bad, but when you're sitting for a while, like you really want to back on your chair. Just looking out, we move so fast, was moving south. My secret sauce, move in and out. Miss how you gloss that pretty mouth. It's perfect. I specifically didn't want one with wheels just since I knew it would be on carpet. And I think it's cute. It's really like big too. It's one of those chairs that you can sit crisscross if you want. Have you seen those advertisements? I would recommend, pretty easy setup. Last setup of today is the TV stand. We've been using this for the past few days. I put one of these on backwards and now I have to undo everything. You're actually kidding me right now. Okay, one more Amazon package today. I literally like want to throw up with how much money I've been spending, but like I said, I've never had a furniture place before, so it's about time that I own like furniture and stuff, right? I'm 25, isn't it? It's, it's time, right? I don't know. But we finally have a bath mat. I got one of those stone ones. A bath mat, you can get some that are like five bucks, but then they get stinky. They don't last very long. This one was like 35, maybe 40, which obviously is an expensive bath mat. But I'm just picking and choosing what I want to spend money on apparently. But some of these little things matter to me. Ooh, it looks nice. See that? I don't know how fast, ooh, it does dry pretty quick, you see that? Dang, it's going quick. You can still see it, but like the dark, dark spots are gone and now it's faded a ton. Wow, or not bath mat, it's like a shower, you know, what you step onto when you get out, whatever that's called, shower mat, like it's not inside, you know. We finally have a bed frame. I'm very excited. This, 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 this is gonna do it. This is. I've been waiting for this. I'm so tired of sleeping on a mattress on the floor. Let's get into it. I'm hoping that it matches my desk chair. I think that will be really cute. I 
I got in the next big piece of furniture that I'm so excited about. A mirror! I think we're all in one piece. Please excuse whatever you see behind me. This place is a mess. This is a great size. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. This actually looks so good. It is such a good size. And big mirrors like this can be so, so freaking expensive. I got this one on Amazon. I think it was originally around 100 But I got a good percentage off. It was only like, with tax, maybe 80 bucks, And it's huge. And it came fast. And it's not broken or anything. I am love it. It does have a little kickstand situation which is nice so it doesn't have to just like rest on the wall it rests on the kickstand it's literally the second week of February and we finally got stuff for the second bathroom but I like how this matches that's why I did like a little black and white theme going on here I think this is our little patio set for the balcony woohoo messing with this thing for over an hour simply because I have to maneuver it when I'm putting the screws in because some of it like you tighten it and then it's a little off I just this thing kind of a piece of shit <laughs> I mean it was 90 bucks for both chairs and the table finally we also got this little turf for Duncan for emergencies and he won't use it <laughs> The last big piece of furniture right now is for the office. Instead of buying like another couch or like a futon, we couldn't decide on any options that actually look good. This is a mattress, but it's like a trifold, so I'll show you. So the office is like the least done area. I mean, it really is last priority. I mean, it's not even my room. I haven't been putting any effort into it, but we're having visitors this weekend and in two weeks, and like we need somewhere for them to sleep, you know? So on Amazon, we got this, I think we got a queen size. It's a mattress, but I think we can put it away when it's not like, you know, in mattress form. So it kind of acts as like a little couch. Although we also don't like just spend time sitting in here. So like, I don't know, it just wasn't the most important thing. If I was like rich rich, you know, of course I'd buy like a actual couch and like a nice set this up, whatever. It's definitely rolled up and compressed. Like it'll definitely expand. Oh, there's a cutter so that you don't like cut the mattress. Okay, it reminds me of a nugget, the way that it trifolds, you know those like kid fort things? So it's a regular mattress when it's down, don't worry, we bought sheets for it. But then I was thinking when it's not being used, we'll have like a sheet on this so it doesn't just look like a mattress, but we can just fold it up against the wall, put some pillows here, and then it's just like a little, I don't know, place to sit. It's good for now. It's Tuesday, February 20th, and the place is basically fully furnished. I wouldn't say it's 100% done, you know, as you'll see, we have like no decorations at all. You know, I would like to add some pictures and just some things to give it more character, make it seem a little more homey. But decorations obviously were my last priority. I wanted to get all the furniture and just everything so that it at least looks decent and we have what we need. So let's do a little tour, a little walk through. I might do, you know, in a few months or so, an actual in-depth apartment tour once I'm fully decorated. And I love it so far. Starting from the door, moving around the little counter piece I think the kitchen just looks really cohesive the completed little locker area I love how the hooks turned out in a drawer of dog toys we have the sweetest boy here. And this is the little living room. And the TV stand matches kind of like the kitchen and stools area. The balcony. Guest bathroom. So we walk into the office, this is definitely the least done room, but it has what we need. This is the folded up little mattress thing, it kind of just looks like a nice little bench. Here we never ended up getting a desk. I will say the garden has looked better. And the bedroom! Literally no decorations, this wall is so blank. We did want to keep this wall blank because we have the projector. So. 
if you want to watch like movies in bed or whatever that's set up which is nice beautiful mirror and he literally has to be in everything and here's my desk set up an extra little ottoman here my foam roller and the bathroom I love how this looks all together. I think the bubble candle is so good for a bathroom. Very happy with how things turned out, especially with the amount of money that we spent. So this is really my first apartment fully furnished. Thanks for coming along the journey. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything come to life and move in. I'll have everything linked if you're interested in anything. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay with me in this new era and new chapter of my life. I love you so much. I'm so thankful for you and I hope to see you in my next one.